Hey everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Build, a direct booking site from scratch in under an hour. And I don't know about you, Chris, but I've been feel, kind of feeling the pressure uh, since we put this out, right? Most people, they either pay thousands of dollars to build a website or it takes quite a long time. And most of those people are taking, um, you know, weeks to be able to push out a website. Mm -hmm. um, I'm getting feedback. You're getting feedback from me? Oh, I know why I'm getting feedback. Oh, you have yourself open in a window? Yeah. How do you, can you turn the volume off on a page? Oh, uh, yeah. If you right click the tab and mute tab or mute site, you can mute just a site. Yeah. I always have Facebook muted. It always like pops up and annoys me. All right. It's gone. So I just, I'm just going <laughs> to. Get rid of the YouTube broadcast page. It makes it <laughs> makes things a lot easier. So welcome everybody. Um, so gosh, hey, we've got uh, about seventy-seven people have joined in on YouTube or live on all of our Facebook channels and our groups. Uh, Eric Carico's here. Uh, we got Travis Sprague, Karen, um, Joe, Alicia, Dina, Melissa. Thank you guys for being here. If you're just logging in, please say hello and let us know what city you're from. Um, Chris and I love that. Uh, so here's the deal. Uh, direct booking sites are all the rage. Everybody's talking about driving direct bookings. Uh, Airbnb and Verbo bookings are down in every single market across the country. Uh, there is absolutely, uh, there's my, there's our partner, Chris Scott Hill. Thanks Scott, for jumping man. in Scott, uh, partner in market, my STR. Uh, Prudence, Travis, Melinda, John, gosh, I can't keep up with everybody. Divide, Colorado, uh, Gabriella from San Diego. Welcome. Uh, everybody loves San Diego. Uh, so anyways, direct bookings are all the rage. The problem is, is you also, well, you can have a direct booking website and you can spend $5,000 on it, but also you need to know how to drive traffic to it. And once traffic gets there, there's this thing called conversion rate optimization, CRO. And that's where websites fail because they have some fundamental problems when it comes to conversion. And number one is that they have too many things going on uh, on the website. So Chris has probably heard this a thousand times from me since he's worked for me. Uh, imagine ladies that you wanna buy a nice pair of Jimmy, Jimmy Choo high heels and you want four inch stilettos and they're you know navy blue and they've got rhinestones on them. Uh, and you're a size six, which is a pretty small foot. And then, oh, Nordstrom hits you with this Facebook ad. And then Nordstrom sends you to the shoe page. And now you got to go and hit the drop down menu and search for Jimmy Choo. Now you got to go search for, you know, four inch stilettos versus six inch or two inch, whatever the heck they are. I don't know anything about women's shoes, but I, I've heard of Jimmy Choo on Friends and. Uh, you know, what was that show uh, with Sarah Jessica Parker back in the day? And, Sex in the City? Yeah, Sex in the City. So the, my point is, is if Nordstrom makes you work for it, you are less apt to buy. What they should do is send you directly to that size six, four inch stiletto Jimmy Choo heel. The problem that happens with marketing, and here's where a lot of property managers fail in our industry, is they're marketing themselves and they're not marketing the individual properties that they have. Chris and I have never, ever, ever, ever ran a Facebook ad, put up an organic social media post, um, you know, ran a buy, sell trade group post ever to Kiva Vacation Rentals. We've never sent it to the portfolio page. It's always one property, one traffic driver leading to a sales page for high conversion. And, and that's what you're going to see today is Chris is essentially building three individual sales pages that are going to function as a website. Is that right, Chris? That's correct. So kind of give them the, 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 you know, cliff notes version of what they're going to see from you today and why this is important for them. And I'm going to lead one thing before Chris jumps in and I'm going to tell you why it's important because if you go buy a WordPress website, and you don't know how to code or do CSS, you're you know what. And I use that word too much, so I'm not gonna say it today, but it starts with an F and ends with a D. And the reason behind that is, is you don't have the ability to be able to update that on your own super fast. And speed is, as Chris knows, in the last six years that he's been with me, he knows that decision-making and speed 
One is the one thing that used to drive employees away because I'd go way too fast. But two, he, he gets it. Chris gets how important speed is. That's why we're doing this today. Because if you buy a website and you can't update the back end and you can't do it quickly and you can't make it look pretty and you don't know about conversion rate optimization, then you're foobard, right? See what I did there, Chris? Foobard. Love it. Didn't use my favorite word. This is going to be Eric. I assume that you, Eric Carrick, I assume you have your kids around you. So this is a G rated hour today uh, for everybody because that's how important this is. So I'm not going to sit here and talk about, you know, a bunch of different stuff and we are not going to sell you on anything today. We are using market my STR to do this in the past. We have used lead pages to do this. And the reason that we are using market my STRs, because that's what Chris is migrating all of our stuff, all of my, all of my personally owned and co-hosted properties are going into this platform because it's easier for me. And me and you are cut from the same cloth. Chris knows how to do CSS. Chris has built probably a hundred websites from scratch in his life. He knows how to do HTML. Bill does not. So this today is for you and me. And I know Chris is going to jibber jabber a little bit when I turn it over to him, but I'm not going to let, let him get away with anything. So Chris, the clock starts now. You have one Perfect. hour to complete this Love website. It. So we're, we're going to have some fun today. I'm going to lay a little bit of groundwork here because um, I think a lot of people, when they go into this, what they, um, what they do is they kind of get a little overwhelmed. Uh, overwhelmed with writing the content, overwhelmed with, well, how do I design it? What, what should it look like? And those two things, actually the um, chat GPT, which we're going to use today, and actually the Markham STR templates, which are probably some of the best templates I've seen of any of the landing page builders we've ever used, help you. They're better that. than lead pages. A uh, thousand percent and easier to use and easier to modify. We're going to do some of that today. So I'm letting the landing page template we're going to choose today kind of guide me on what kind of copy I need or how I want to do it. I'm going to make some heavy modifications to it. You're going to see that. That's how easy it is to make modifications to a template. I'm also using ChatGPT to really uh, help me and write literally most of the content. And then Jasper, for those of you who haven't uh, seen Jasper as that way to kind of just take that content to the next level. And then Canva um, to really make images pop um, in a way that most people haven't seen. I'm sure you how easy it is inside of Canva to actually do that. So, so you're not only it. just building the site, you're going to show them about that other stuff. We're going to well. show them all the other stuff. Yeah, this wouldn't be as fun for me because I, I could probably build it and we would build it really, really fast if I just like copy and paste it. We're going to do some of that because it's like a, a cooking show. And uh, I don't want to, I want, <laughs> I'm going to have to explain a little bit along the way. So I don't want to lose too much time explaining things. But um, so I have some things already written, kind of a roadmap here. But I want to show you the roadmap I created and how I created it as well. So it actually starts um, with ChatGPT. I'm going to share my screen and we're going to dive right into this. And the reason, and I think the only group that's actually seen this is um, the accelerator group. And that's because, here, let's move us into this little spot over here. So Rich, Rich Clark, yes, this is being recorded on whatever channel you are watching it on, whether it's in our Build Short Term Mental Wealth group, YouTube, uh, whatever it is, it will be recorded. And feel free to ask questions. I'll be moderating questions uh, in the chat as Chris goes through this. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So if those of you haven't used ChatGPT, I'm going to give like the, the elevator pitch. It's an AI tool that previously learned up to a certain point. And now if you use the, the paid version, you can actually access uh, the internet and other plugins to get even more out of it. But basically, it's learned a whole bunch of information. And because of that, you can actually ask it questions. It's learned for, um, you know, copywriting. It's learned uh, marketing. It's learned how to do recipes. It knows so much information that you have a conversation with it. And so a lot of people, they struggle with it because they kind of just ask you to do stuff like make me a landing page template. And it's like, well, I need the more information the same way that if I was talking to a, uh, a marketing agency that's about to build me a website, they would have certain questions for me because they need to learn about the property. It's not just about a template. So this phrase right here uh, has been my golden phrase. And basically what happens is as you build out a thread, so this is a thread you kind of see, I called it Lodge 93. I made a thread and then in this thread, I'll keep asking questions or adding information about Lodge 93 so it can continue to build and learn and grow uh, as I interact with it. So basically you're a marketing expert preparing to create content for a short-term rental in Ole Montana on the Stillwater River. So I'm trying to preface from, for ChatGPT, what is it? What is it thinking of? It's, it's a marketing expert. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna create content 
for what? A short-term rental in a specific location on a specific river. I'm trying to give it a little bit of information so it has context to what we're going to be doing. You'll be creating social media content, real guest messaging, Facebook ads, and more about the property. What 10 questions do you need answered to write the best possible content? So I'm kind of putting it on the software to say, hey, I kind of have an idea of what you're talking about. I know what short-term rentals are. I know what marketing is. I know what landing pages are, what social media content is. But what do you really need to be able to write it? And then it literally asked me 10 questions. And I gave it 10 answers, specifics about the property, specifics about the area, specifics about things I want to focus on. Then based on that, it was able to write me my suggestions, social media content, real content, Facebook ads, all that stuff. And this is for the accelerator, the example Oh, I gave it a name so it would know uh, how to reference it. So for, for the accelerator, I'll show an example of how to use it for creating a buyer persona and what that looks like and creating a Facebook ad and how easy it is, including you know image examples and um, creating a listing description for that particular buyer persona and real ideas and social media content and hashtags, all these things that ChatGPT is amazing for. But what I really wanted to use it is uh, this is all social content, social content, incredible stuff. If you haven't used ChatGPT or watched the, or were part of the um, the marketing uh, uh, webinar. All I'm saying to interrupt time. you is we're five minutes in and we haven't even seen a page yet. Are you, are you not yet. nervous about you. this? Because never, I am. Never nervous, never. Oh my God. Um, here's why, because this is the question. You're designing a direct booking landing page for the property. It knows what the property because it's in this thread. Create a bulleted outline for layout that'd be optimized for conversion. So I'm asking ChatGPT, hey, it understands conversion rate optimization. It understands a decent amount about landing page creation, what direct bookings are. Create an outline of kind of what you would want to do. So it's pretty simple. You have a header. You highlight some things about the property. You do some testimonials. You have a call to action. There's no pricing packages. We're not going to do any trust and security. There's no support. Uh, we'll have a footer. But basically, kind of outlined it. I'm like, cool. Write content for that header section. It literally is like, here's a hero image. Here's a good headline. You actually see I was copy and pasting stuff earlier. Uh, here's a good sub headline. And then here it kind of laid out. Introduction, a little more text, little different things to focus on, different areas to focus on. I was like, well, I want you to go into more detail. What key features? What do I want to have in the property highlight section? It literally wrote this out. Amenities, from Riverside Retreat. What about other activities around? Because one of the things we're going to focus on is not just about and a lot of the Airbnb listings I'll actually switch to um, another property and the direct booking site uh, created by owner res. And you can really see basically you get two paragraphs or a little bit of text. You get your kind of information like here's the bedrooms, here's the bathrooms, here's some features in it. That's really all you get. And Airbnb is a very similar way. You get a couple paragraphs of information and then you get a lot of details. It's this many bedrooms, this many bathrooms, this kind of information. But it's not about why. Why should someone stay there? And so I really want to focus on what things can they do that aren't just being at the property. I want, I want to talk about the property. We're going to talk about it here with the amenities and experiences and all the stuff that's included in the property. But I also want to talk about what can you do in the summer because that's a certain type of buyer. And what can you do in the winter because that's a different type of buyer. And that was it. I had chat GPT really quick. This literally took me, I know I, it took me longer to explain what I was talking about or what I asked it. That actually took me to ask it the questions because I literally wrote this one out, expand upon the header, write more about the property, write more about summer and winter activities in the area. It knows where the area is because I explained that before. And then boom, I have all this text created. So I'm already 90% of the way there with text which is the hard part, right? Well, what do you say? ChatGPT wrote it for me. Now I need to go to the other side, which is, well, how am I going to lay this out? And we're going to mark my STR to do that. So this is the mark my STR dashboard. Uh, basically it's designed where you can have, you know, Facebook ads connected, other things, uh, tasks created, all kinds of stuff. I'm going to focus today on landing pages. So under sites, there's funnels, there's lots of other things in here. There's the chat widget, which we'll actually add to our site. Uh, media, where you can upload all the media and get access to your content. I'm actually going to create a brand new funnel from scratch using a template. So I'm going to the template, ta new funnel template library. And here I have all these kind of templates to choose from. And for any of them, if I picked a random one, pick this one, I can kind of preview it. 
see what it would look like. Be like, oh yeah, that's kind of the vibe I'm going for or not. And I could just boom, one click, load it in and start editing this particular template. But I don't like that one. I'm actually going to choose this one. This is one um, I really enjoy. I like the, kind of the colors of it. We're going to change orange though, because we're, we're currently an anti-orange company as I was uh, informed earlier today. So, but we'll use, uh, we'll talk about how colors play into um, how things are laid out. But I kind of, I like how visually it's distinguished, um, how it kind of stands out that these kind of elements aren't normal uh, for most pages and how that's kind of unique to it. Um, things with icons, things with other imagery, I like just in general how it's set up. So I'm gonna hit continue, agree, and just get this template loaded into our mark in my STR. And so um, we actually, it's usually faster to refresh the page. It'll just load it, uh, load it in real quick. And then I have the version I just loaded in called Mountain Travel. That's the name of the template. And it has a couple steps in here. So in a traditional funnel, you actually have steps. So you have uh, a call to action to say book a call. And then if they book the call, it would take you to a thank you page, all that. I don't need those extra steps today. We're just going to start with uh, the first step. So I'm just going to delete the extra ones out of my way. And the cool thing is I'm going to actually build out kind of what I'm looking for and then we can just duplicate it for the other pages we want to create along the way. I have my home page here. I want to go through and do some um, setup work here. So for one, I want to name this the name of the property. Lodge 93. Uh, it will be at Lodge 93. And then I already set my domain inside of Markham STR. That's in there. And then I'm going to enable the chat widget. So sometimes this gets stuck. You have to pop into the chat widget, hit save one more time, and then it'll let you enable it. But for me, already done that. So it's already enabled, ready to go. That was kind of the, the first steps here. And then leaving this as home is fine. I could technically uh, change this name to anything I want, but home is, uh, is perfect for that. And so we'll go back to that. So I'm going to actually start editing now. And you can kind of see if those of you haven't been inside of Markham STR, really any the landing page builder. Um, it's super simple. It's literally drag and drop. I can move, uh, grab this element here, move it over there, move it back over here. I can swap these around. I can click in to change text. And that's why we love landing page builders. They literally let you drag and drop and move things around. Um, I'm going to set this thing up for one. I know I need to have a navigation at multiple pages. Um, I want to have backgrounds. I want to kind of change some things around. And so uh, we're still going to start top to bottom and kind of build, use the text I have from ChatGPT um, that I created, you know, put some of it through Jasper, put other things not through Jasper. I'm just going to use it as normal text. And we're just going to work our way from top to bottom. So the top, it actually, I don't want just the, the, the header the way it is. I'm actually going to start with a, um, a tr traditional header element where you have a logo and a navigation. But right now, this is at the very top, right? And so anywhere there's green, I can little click the little button here, make me a whole full width section. So basically you think of landing pages are sections, like this green section is a section, this green section is a section. There's rows um, and columns. So like the blue is the row, the purple is the column. So you see how there's a row across here and then there's two purple columns next to each other. And everything is rows and columns. Once you kind of understand that, um, that's how you can modify stuff. It makes it super easy to understand. Then on mobile, basically rows and columns stack on top of each other. So what's ever in the column uh, on the left goes first, what's ever on the column on the right goes second, and they stack left and right, left and right, all the way down. I can kind of switch it. Another reason we love this instead of a lot of uh, other builders is how uh, easy it is to really see what I'm doing. So a lot of people visit on a mobile. I want to know what it looks like if you're on a mobile device. I can switch back and forth and optimize for both and make changes very easily for both. So made the section, I can literally just move it up. Then I'm going to create brand new uh, row that has two columns in it. Then in this left column, I'm going to grab my logo here, stick it in there. This right one, I want my navigation that we're going to use th through the rest of the video. So there's actually a navigation element. You can scroll down and find stuff or if you search, I can search nav. And then boom, pop a menu in. If you click on it, I can actually access uh, the settings for it. So if I click over here, you see the settings on the left change. Go over here, I can start making changes to it. So the uh, reason we're using a navigation menu and not just putting like the links to the text or anything like that is because of some of the more advanced features of the navigation menu. So actually, I'm going to get rid of a few things that I don't want. Um, 
I don't want the low the uh, the logo in that menu because I have the logo over here. Um, I don't want if I go into uh, advanced here. Um, I don't want the headline in it. I just want the text. Now I want it reversed, meaning that I want the uh, all the text on the right. Then I can start making changes. So okay, this font's kind of small. Let's make it a little bit bigger on the desktop. Um, make the mobile a little bit bigger too. I can change my letter spacing a little bit just so that it's not so uh, tight in there. Um, I can change colors. I can change the underline. I can change the uh, the spacing of the individual items, that kind of thing, all that's easy. The reason I really am playing with this is because um, if I preview this on mobile, it actually uses the hamburger menu. And so I can kind of see what that looks like. And I don't like what it does here because the uh, the background, it just fades it, but it keeps the, the text dark. I actually changed that. So uh, under uh, mobile background color, I can actually change that to a white instead of a transparent. And then you can actually see how easy that change was. And the reason I really like using this particular uh, button arrangement is I can create sub menus. So say you did have a, uh, a sub menu of uh, multiple things, I could do that. Um, but uh, I actually, I don't wanna do that right now. I'm gonna get rid of this one. We're gonna do a uh, traditional home. We're gonna do a about us. Um, and then we're gonna do a gallery as the three pages we're gonna create today of our website. The reality is that we're gonna have all those elements on this one page. This home page will be basically everything I need in here, but um, I do want to have the flexibility where if I want to, you know, add more stuff or more content, that we can, you know, do all that. So as I start going through, I'm gonna start building this out. So you click a section, it goes to that area, and I'm gonna start building top to bottom. So I want to change out the uh, the background image here. I already have uh, a Lodge 93 folder created. This is where um, I uploaded some images. This is kind of the, some of the stuff, but I actually want a specific image. So I'm going to go, go through my folder here. This is all my, my JPEGs. Um, I did a little bit of work ahead of time, meaning I made them web-sized. If your photographer takes uh, photos for you, they should be able to do that just as easily for you um, and make them web-sized. I'm actually going to try and pull one of, uh, one of these at night, like that one. And that would be the uh, the header. Um, and so your photographer uh, should be able to make them web size for you. That's easy. Um, web size, for those of you who don't know, so like a raw image from a photographer is really, really large. It's like, then the camera they use, it's many, many megapixels, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 megapixels, basically the size to be able to print uh, on the side of a building for the most part. And so on the internet, it's important to have um, things load quickly. And so when you use those large images that are 40, 50 megabytes uh, per image, and then someone's on a browser, then they have to load that image to be able to see the image. And so having things that are properly sized, um, certain number of pixels wide, and this is a good reminder, by the way, it's growing, reminding me to save right now. Um, just so that I- 17 I minutes there. gone, folks, 17 minutes. Getting there, just trying to explain along the way. Um, so um, website images are typically smaller in size, like 2,000 pixels by 2,000 pixels, and they're smaller in quality. So they're uh, not as many megabytes per image. It's actually easier for the, the site to load. So cool thing is I can start making changes. So I actually want this to be a full width. I'm going to kind of grab some text over here of, uh, from ChatGPT earlier. And Bill told me he hates the color orange, so we're going to change our... our, uh, our I don't hate it. I just color. lived in the HubSpot world for so long. I've got had so much orange in my life. I like... Uh, although, orange is the best color for CTAs, uh, like right here where you see the Book Now button. Uh, it is proven to convert at the highest rate for any color available. You see how quickly I can just change some text, change some, some things around. Oops, I did not keep the color because I changed it from my from white to italics, we're gonna switch that. Um, so I'm kind of going through, making make some changes along the way. There is some text under here, it's a paragraph, let me get rid of that. Like Bill said, the button technically, uh, the, the color does matter, having colors that stand out. Um, usually this is those, like that's why orange is, is prominent on this page because of um, how 
much as it, it does stand out from from the pack it makes it easier to see on really any kind of background it's part of the color palette for this theme right so i wouldn't Correct. recommend using that someone asked about you know what is conversion rate optimization conversion rate optimization is when the primary colors here are probably black orange and white you want to have a button color that is going to be completely against that so you would want to test like a green or you know a dark green or maybe a navy blue or something that's different so that way it stands out and it's converse to the primary, secondary, and tertiary colors on the existing sales page. Um, and uh, Jesse, just to answer your question, actually Scott Hill just answered it. The best dimensions are 1920 by 1080 uh, for a background image. Scott is uh, my partner in uh, Market My STR. Yep. Thank you, Scott. And so again, this content, was already created in chat GPT. I'm just literally copying and pasting it over. I actually have it in a different doc. So I don't have to keep going back into the chat GPT and kind of finding it in my thread. Um, but certain things like this headline are actually from Jasper. So I'll take like a uh, little piece of text, like explore the wonders of still water. I'll put it into Jasper. For those of you who don't know, Jasper's the copywriting version of chat GPT, meaning it's learned from copywriters. There's a little bit more advanced features with it when it comes to like tone of voice or what kind of content you want to create. But basically I can put a sentence, a whole paragraph, and it writes these much more meaningful, much more like a person would write it, um, sentences or, um, or paragraphs from it. And so there's certain things I'll take into Jasper, give me some variations. I'll be like, you know what? I like this one, copy and paste, that kind of thing. Super, super easy. So, um, but I already have that done, so we're not gonna worry about that. Now we're to our first custom image. So I'm gonna show you in Canva how actually easy it is to create something like that. And so I'm gonna make a brand new design. It's a custom size. And I'm gonna make it 2,000 pixels by 2,000 pixels just so I have plenty of space in it. I'm gonna create a brand new design. <clears throat> just blank, nothing in here. The cool thing about Canva is there's lots of elements. So one, it has these uh, image placeholders. If you kind of scroll down, they call them frames. And they're designed to be uh, a place where I could take take an image and just stick another image in it. There's all kinds of shapes and sizes and, and everything like that. But what I want really is a rounded, uh, cornered one that doesn't have a um, that doesn't have a uh, border or anything weird like that. So I'm going to snag this one. And basically, it has a couple images overlaid. So I can put one image here. I can copy and paste that. I can make another image down here. Uh, I'm trying to kind of replicate what was already on this template and kind of see how that template kind of had it. Then I can go back into Canva, whoops, this Canva, and then I can grab another just background shape. You see, you like the default to orange, everything likes to default to orange for some reason. And then basically, I know it looks like I'm making an absolute mess out of this thing, but you'll see what happens in a second here. And so what I can then do is bring, send all these items, there's layers inside of here. Um, I can send all these, let me get rid of that weird color that popped up for, for some reason. None. <clears throat> um, I can send all these to the back. So um, it has layers on top of each other. Position, whoops, send you to the back as well. And now, because I have all my images uploaded already, I can kind of pick and choose the first uh, paragraph is about uh, kind of the home, the exterior. So I definitely want to show some exterior, um, maybe like this one. Now I wouldn't mind showing kind of the looking the other direction down the river, um, which I definitely have some of those as well. So we'll put that. So just to there. clarify, Chris, as you're going through this, you don't need to stop. This isn't just building the website. This is like preparing copy and getting your image images ready and not that you're going to get every image ready but you've already got them stored in canva there so it's a little bit more than just building the guts of the website correct yeah yeah this is way more this is actually completely building out um what i would want whoops i need to say it Oops, i'll do what i did uh completely building out the uh, actually, not just the, the guts, kind of the wireframe, but Chris, actually... I'm going to interrupt you for one second because we've got this question twice. Do you provide assistance when we create this? Seems a bit out of my element. Um, Scott's on here in the chat. He's my business partner. Literally last night, him and I had a discussion and we know how important it is. So one, we've already built... Chris and Bill have already uploaded some of our templates into the Superhost uh, plan. 
Uh, so you can have this. If you are a member of the Superhost or the Next Level Plan, you will get this template of the website when we're done with it. Probably take Scott's team a day or two to get it up into the template section. Uh, plus, you have 300 other templates. There's also, if you already have, and this is something that's brand new today with Market My STR, because we're trying to make this as accessible and as easy for everybody, is Scott has given me the approval, and I need like a drum roll right now, but if you already have an existing website, our team, Scott, Chris, Bill's team at Market My STR will import your website and basically rebuild it for you up to five pages, a five-page website for only $175. That is ridiculous. Um, you, They have to rebuild it into our system. You're going to pay a developer $150 an hour. Typically, you can go to Fiverr or Upwork, and that's going to cost you for somebody good, at least even overseas, at $35 to $50 an hour, and that's probably a 20-hour project. So $175, anybody that has websites, WordPress, Wix, Squarespace, hard-coded, uh, HTML, whatever you got, once you get on, all you got to do is reach out via chat, reach out via the website, uh, and Scott and his team will actually bring your w website into Market My STR for $175. Bucks. That's up to five pages. So if you have six pages, seven pages, eight pages, nine pages, 10 pages, then just double the 175 and we'll get that done for you as well. That's ridiculously cheap, but something that Scott is doing because Scott's learning our industry and he's fully committed uh, just as Chris and I are. So sorry to interrupt you there, Chris, but I think that was a really important question uh, to answer. Wow. And we have the whole setup as well. The other thing I'll let you know about Market My STR, Scott's going to literally, we've been doing live um, Q and A, uh, live office hours on Tuesdays and Thursdays, starting, uh, next week. It's every day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, live support to get you guys set up, um, to answer all the questions that you guys have every single day from one to 2 PM Eastern time, Monday through Friday. We also have live chat available for support. Uh, we, I mean, they, Scott has just been knocking it out of the park. We also have white glove. If you want to get your entire email marketing, social media marketing, everything set up in less than an hour, we can do that for you. It's just a one-time cost for 250 bucks and, and our team will get you set up and you're up and running immediately. Yeah, so I'll catch people up kind of some of the stuff that I was, I was working on while you were talking. I'm using the template to my advantage. So I like how it has an image and text. So I literally just duplicated this, uh, this row right here and flipped them. Uh, image on the right, text on the left, and I, and I just made the changes I wanted to make. That's how easy that is to do. Let me get rid of my duplicate here. It's already did that. Um, then I use kind of the features of the template. I need more of them, so I can just hit duplicate, boom, creates another one, delete it. There's too many. Um, I can make one more image over here that's similar, so I'm actually in Canva. This is what I love about Canva, is that I can just uh, duplicate this particular design, uh, change some elements around here, so, not okay. required, Lethe. You do not have to have owner res or, or something like that to proceed. Let me actually completely reverse this around. That way it looks slightly different. Move that there. Melanie, if your website is five pages or less, it's only 175 bucks. Scott and his team will get it into market my STR. Picture of a room, so we can actually. Uh, Jasmine, yeah, your website through Owner Res sucks. Um, I have one through Owner Res too. It's just the, if if you have your images and that type of stuff, you can just schedule a call uh, with the team once you get in and set up, and and they can grab some of the templates and build it for you. Uh, you just got to make sure that you have all the content and everything ready for them. But that's one of the reasons that we've started that we started doing this for our host academy members, meaning Chris and I, and we made some of our templates available in the Super Host program is because the, and, and I, I love owner res. So don't think I'm talking, you know what about owner res. I love them, but just all the PMS's sites are no good. The, whether it's Huffy or hospitable or, you know, owner res or whatever, they're just not designed to convert. And really the big thing for our business is the visual component. Yep. And that's why just as simple as using Canva, um, allows you to really do some advanced things when it comes to the um, oops, that's not the one I wanted. So I'll try to use back to this. There we go. Uh, really do some advanced things with, with design stuff that just kind of takes it to that next level. So I already got 
couple sections built here. We're gonna kind of continue down. Um, this next section is pretty easy to make changes. Again, you can grab an image. I want kind of an exterior uh, image here. So that's really what I'm talking about. Let's go back to Lodge 93. Lethe, this is the website I just put it in the chat to marketmystr.com. Here, let's do kind of image. Cool thing about all these is that one, I can kind of control the uh, what color it gets used. I can control uh, opacity so I can add a fade to it. Um, I can allow things to be wider, make them shorter. Then literally I'm just, again, copying my text, chat GPT made for me. Um, obviously you want to read it. You want to double check it. You want to run someone through Jasper, but um, we're kind of laying stuff out. I'm using the template that already exists to my advantage. So it has four little graphical elements. So I am had it focus on just four uh, key components. You can change out these um, images super, super easily as well uh, using there's a, a thousand uh, free uh, images out there. If you are in Canva, again, you can just grab an image and same way I've been pulling images the whole time, uh, make different versions of it. But I'm trying to show you how easy it is to literally build, copy, paste um, straight from ChatGPT and a uh, little bit of modification through there. So now I'm going to keep going down. See, again, change the background image. Okay, moving on. I really want to highlight some of the features of the property. So I'm going to duplicate this whole section here. I want to show it in kind of a different way. I actually, actually, you know what? I'm not going to do it that way. We're going to do, um, I'm going to duplicate this section and we're just going to modify it. So I'm going to actually move down. I'm going to create a row above here. Again, everything's rows and columns, right? So I'm going to make a, a brand new, um, no, I will make a new section. We'll make it a full width one. I'll move this bad boy down. Um, so I'm going to duplicate this one. I like this one, but I'm going to change it up a little bit. I can arrow Under 30 minutes. Down. I'm just saying less than 30 minutes to go. I got gotcha. you. And then I can just drag it and put it right here. I like this text area. So I'm going to duplicate it, move it up there. Don't need that. And I'm going to highlight some of the special features of the property. Uh, cool thing is I like, all right, well, I actually want a three column instead of two. Uh, it's easy to do. Let me actually do duplicate this one. Come instead of two, I want them in a different order. So I want the image over here. I want these a little smaller. I can do that. I don't want this extra text. I can get rid of that. So it's really easy to kind of visually see um, and make changes along the way based on kind of what you're doing. And I'm just trying to highlight, you know, there's a hot tub, there's a dock, there's a fire pit, uh, there's a milkshake bar. There's paddle boards, back deck, coffee bar. I saw coffee. Whoops. All right, yeah. Let's trigger grill. It's outdoor dining. You can see how quickly you just boom made a hole in your section. I can remake my images if I wanted the image area bigger. I can move these around and adjust them. That's all part of it. Then you see I'm not huge on these weird subheading things. So um, now I'm going to actually get into some images, right? And so there's a couple ways to do this. I could keep it like this, where there's a kind of an explanation under the images. I could I'm going to save because I haven't done that in a while. Um, hey, Didi asked a question, Chris. Uh, Chris, I want to address. So, Didi, this is Mark. This is just like one tenth of what happens inside of Market My STR. Market My STR is email marketing. Uh, it is social media marketing. It is reputation management. It's building out funnels. It has a CRM. It's the all-in-one marketing platform. So, this is where you will go in, and all the stuff that we've taught you in the mastermind. You want to use Stayfy. You want to. You can use Zapier to connect Stayfy. All your guests and all the people that are logging in go into your email list. Then you're sending out emails on a series. If you saw my Superhost Sunday last week, you can see the funnels that I've, uh, you know, put together. Uh, the the buy sell trade groups, the email marketing, the Facebook ads. That's all the stuff. Essentially, we're showing you guys this because a lot of people are spending thousands of dollars for a website. You don't need to spend that money. Um, you can do it all right here and get everything else at one ridiculously. 
uh, low price. So this is your social media marketing, your email marketing, uh, your sales, your client relationship management, your funnels, uh, your web sales page hosting, it's everything all under one platform. Great question. So you can kind of see how, how easy it is. I like this kind of the layout of the section, meaning that there's these little kind of bullet things. And so I can, uh, I'm trying to highlight some summer activities and just as easy as that, everything, this was all written, go back to chat GPT, literal summer activities. I'm copying and pasting what was pulled out here and just putting it into, um, into a, an area that looks really good, uh, displays the information very well, it's easy to understand. And then allows me to then go back into Canva, I can customize these. I use the power of, of Canva to actually um, create a uh, custom image. I'll do that in a second. I want to get all the text in here because uh, Bill's all on me about time and I want to make sure we actually get to. Um, hey, that's the whole point of this is to get this done cards. in an hour, right? We got uh, 25 minutes left. And it's going to be a better website than most of those that take them weeks to make. So we're on pace. Um, you can kind of see copy and pasting some content. Super, super easy. And then um, same thing, Canva, if you haven't got the idea yet, I can literally take any of these images, grab the, any of the images I've uploaded, um, <laughs> replace it with it. So if I wanted a uh, little image here, I can change the same way I would on Airbnb. I could copy my caption from Airbnb and just paste it in here. And it's just this overall process. And once you kind of have an idea, okay, I'm gonna have nine images. You know what, I want 12 images, boom, duplicate it. Then just the process over and over again of I uploaded my images, go into it. Let me grab another, boom, here's a master bath. Let's talk about it. And then just same process over and over again. And kind of the same thing for other things. So these are the content from ChatGPT. I want to talk about summer adventures, winter escapes. I can go back to Canva and because I have the uh, premium version of Canva, I can just as easily go in here and say, okay, uh, summer adventures, let's do, I want to look for, uh, hiking and pull a stock photo of uh, some people hiking. Uh, um, I want to do uh, fly fishing. I can pull a uh, stock photo of a dude fly fishing. Boom, save this image out, load it into uh, here as the summer adventures winter. I could pull you know, snowmobiling, ice fishing. And that's how easy it is. And that's why we want to use the tools we have like Canva to be able to make these things quickly. Uh, this next section, uh, super easy. Uh, let me get rid of this whole section. I don't like this section. Um, basically, I'm going to make just a divider so that visually kind of separates a little bit. And there's a whole actual thing for that. Boom, just a divider. Let me add it one more time. There we go. Um, this section, we're going to call Meet Your Hosts because we like to put a face to it. It's not just a house. You're not a property management company. Uh, you are... Um, you are hosts, you are people. Again, if I want to make this text bigger, it's as easy as boom, dragging it, uh, replace an image, same thing. Go into my Lodge 93 over here, my folder with all my images, grab my Bill and Bria image, um, go down. We want to have that social proof. So we're going to, uh, this is also was noted in my chat GPT. It said social proof, same thing. For those of you who don't know what social proof is, it's basically um, representations of someone. Um, whether it's a, uh, a guest or someone who stayed with you that um, proves that, hey, I had a great experience. This was a great stay. And so you can, uh, if I have their image, you can pull it from Airbnb. Uh, if you don't, get rid of it. I'm gonna get rid of it just for time's sake. And obviously no one wants a 4.5 uh, star. So in Canva, you can easily, just as easily make a, um, make a star, um five stars image replace this bad boy with the five stars as well switch this to name so i can see it easier boom five stars and here's actually this is for a different property because you haven't actually had this private airbnb yet so there's no uh airbnb reviews for this property and i want to create a uh a direct booking section i'm actually going to duplicate um the header here and I'm just going to move it down. You can drag it. You can move it a couple different ways, but I like doing it this way. It's kind of a visual 
uh, move stuff down, move it down, move it down. We're gonna put this at the very, very bottom down here. Um, you have your header, you can change this last little bit, but um, I'm gonna uh, copy or duplicate my uh, column here, make a separate column. This is gonna be my call to action, meaning the actual um, like final uh, booking. So I can change some text around here. I want this definitely to be smaller. So we're just gonna change that. We're gonna add a little bit more underneath it. Again, we can change uh, font colors along the way. We can change the size of text along the way. So it makes a little more sense. I can get rid of elements I don't want, like all of these. Boom, boom, boom. We're gonna change our width of these columns if I want to. So I can make this one a little bit uh, bigger. Don't need my button name more because this is actually gonna be my booking widget. So I'm gonna go into owner res. Again, we use owner res. And so I can actually grab uh, a booking widget for this property. So if I go into my widgets, I have one set for Markham ST already. I just gotta select the property. This is Lodge 93, copy this code, go back into the site, open my code editor, paste that bad boy in there, save it. So I'm gonna hit save so we can actually preview this real quick. And you can kind of see what, what we've created so far. How much time do I have left, Bill? You have 20 minutes. Okay. So this is what we made so far. I'm going to show some other, um, some other quick uh, parts and pieces to it. And so we have the header, uh, book now button. We're going to link that in a second. Then I have information, kind of these custom design graphics from Canva, um, some highlighted features, um, some, another background image with some uh, icons, highlighting some additional features I could go through and build out every comment, all the, the content under the different images. Um, I have some other things to do in the area, uh, meet your hosts, all that. So I have, all, and then my booking widget, you'll notice this actually, I need it to be uh, white down here. So I'm gonna do some quick cleaning up and then we're gonna make the other pages for it. So one, I can um, click, click in this area and make sure I give it a background because the booking widget for uh, owner res likes to actually be on a white background. Um, I can start changing some of these other images out for other uh, property images. So if I go back into Lodge 93, I could pick a, uh, a different property image that's a little bit wider. I think like this one might be a good one. And again, I can kind of fade the, the background so it's a little bit easier to read. Um, change that color to like a darker color. That way it's a little bit easier to read. I could change this to parallax. And so parallax is a super popular, meaning that as you scroll, um, it scrolls, it's going to be weird because it's at the very, very bottom. So I actually might want to leave this one at the, uh, the fill hundred percent width. Actually, I'll probably put it full center. Um, but this one specifically the one in the middle, I definitely want to have as a, uh, parallax element. So you can actually kind of scroll as the page goes on. I would actually want the top, uh, section to be a parallax element as well. So that kind of, uh, as you scroll, it scrolls, it's just kind of a, a nicer web design feature. Then to link these buttons, I literally just click on the button and then um, I can go and select. Is that the top, Chris? Is this the header? Yes, we're back to the header. So, dude, I mean, let's let's add some video. I love video on our sales pages. Can you add video here? Oh, you'd like to challenge me. Yeah, let me link this uh, this button real quick just to show that that works. And then- I um, mean, we are just in Montana and you shot drone footage and all that type of <laughs> stuff. We need to put it to work. Deal. So um, basically I can set a button to scroll to anywhere else on this page. Now I just select where I want to scroll to and it kind of gives me a preview. It's so all the way down at this bottom here. Um, there'll be a, um, the, any of these sections, this uh, headline, this column, this custom code. And that way when I save it and I preview it real quick, that it'll actually, um, when I click the button, the book now button, it'll pop me right down to my booking widget down here. So Bill wants to get fancy. Let's get fancy with it. So in the end of the day, a- My properties are fancy. I and agree. if I'm in the luxury space, and even if I'm not, I need my website to look fancy. I agree. So 
we're gonna have some fun. So in the end, a this builder is still a website builder. All websites are built on common language. That's HTML. They all use CSS or the styling behind it to actually make things look a certain way. The cool thing about um, a builder like this is that I don't have to mess with any of that. So in the traditional sense, if I wanted to change this text and make it bigger, I would have to um, go into the code, change it. Where here, I can just use the little, the little slider, right? But we can have some fun. We're gonna have some fun right now. So I'm actually gonna add a custom HTML element because I want to add um, some video into it. And so uh, our friends at HubSpot actually have created a great um, kind of walkthrough on how to do um, video elements like this. And so I'm gonna kind of copy and paste some of, of what they've set up. It's literally a tutorial. They have a video that walks through it, but um, I'm gonna go in here and grab some code. And basically the way this works is I'm gonna put video into this page and then I'm gonna use some CSS to then tell it um, where I want that video to go, which is behind everything as a background uh, for this area. And so um, I'm gonna copy my HTML, I'm gonna paste it in and then we're gonna make some changes to it. So basically it's, it's pretty simple that if there isn't a video, if they can't play the video, what's it gonna show? It's gonna show a background image. Um, if it can play the video, what's it gonna show? It's gonna play the video. And if I'm gonna hit yes, save, you're not gonna see anything different happen because it's basically just, um, there's no styling, there's no nothing. I just added that code into the middle of this section. Then what I need to go do is go into my uh, settings and we're actually gonna add some custom CSS. So this is how simple this is. Um, in it, I'm going to here see how weird this happens and what I need to do to fix it in a second. Basically I'm telling it, hey, for my background video, um, I want to set the width, which is the size of my window, my viewer, my height, and then I want it to be behind everything else that's in this section. That's where the Z index comes in. So I'm gonna hit save real quick. Now I'm gonna hit save every over here and I'm gonna preview it. And then you're gonna see, I might have to remove the, uh, the background. Yeah, I do, okay. I was gonna see everything kind of freaked out. So one, I need to remove uh, the background image that's, that exists uh, for the section. So I'm gonna get rid of it, uh, get rid of my background color here too and make it clear. That's gonna actually kind of make it super, super weird. So I'm gonna give it a little bit of color so I can see what's going on. Then for every section, by default, the background color is clear. I actually wanna make them white. And so I'm gonna go through real quick and make my section background colors uh, white. That's that whole section. That one should be fine. This section background needs to be white. This section needs to be white as well. And we're just making sure everything that should have a background has a background because my video kind of lives behind all of these sections. That background color, make it white. There we go. I'm going to save. And then we're going to preview this again. And now you'll see the video element I had uh, created with a little bit of, of uh, filter on it. So it's a little bit easier to see. And this is a video I just uploaded to Markham STR. So this isn't on like, um, this isn't in Vimeo or YouTube or anything like that. It's just a video element that's in uh, Markham STR platform. I just copied the location of it because it's hosted in the cloud. So it's an easy place for me to snag. And then um, it plays on top. If the browser doesn't support it, then it'll default back to um, the default image I had set. But if it does support it, um, then it'll play the video behind it. And you see it parallaxes just like the rest of the, the elements on the page do. The buttons and text still are uh, highlightable if that's even a word, um, and it still work. All that works together, and so it's super, super easy. Um, I can still go in here if I need to edit any of those things, if I wanted to duplicate, put more text. Um, nothing's locked in, nothing's set. It's just as easy as um, making those modifications, and then, boom, you can come right in, and now you can see the change I made to it. So we really have the core of our page built. And the cool thing about this is that when it comes to duplicating and making the other pages, because I already kind of built an about us inside of here, I have the your host section, because I already kind of built the gallery inside of here, I can actually just go back to my steps. So that page is complete. The home page is done. So if we're just building a landing page on a website right now, we would be done. But we're gonna add some more pages to it. So I actually just clone this funnel step right here. 
Um, and then I can make sure that um, I hit it, boom, adds it to it. There we go, it cloned it. I can hit my settings here so I can name it. This is the about, uh, about us. Update that real quick. I could, I could also change the, the uh, location of it. We're just going to leave that for now. I'm going to clone this. Uh, oh, I need to change the, the name of this so I don't forget, so I don't lose track of who's what. There we go. Then I'm going to clone this step one more time, and then we're going to call this step the gallery. So if I go into the publishing, uh, put my gallery in here, boom, update it. There we go. So the About Us, everything kind of stays the same, except I want to get rid of all the uh, all the sections that aren't the meet my host, the, that kind of thing. So I want to get rid of, I can literally just boom, start deleting sections out of my way. I want to try to delete the right section. Okay. Delete that section. Then I can just delete the uh, boom, boom, get rid of that whole thing. I'll keep the social proof. I'll keep the bottom portion. Hit save. Done. I have my about us section completed. Go back to the uh, the funnels here. I'm gonna go to my gallery. I'm gonna do the exact same thing, except I'm gonna just keep the gallery and the booking widget. Um, I don't need any of the other parts to it, so I can just start getting rid of sections again. There's my gallery. I don't want that. I don't need the social proof. Booking widget. Boom. Hit save. And now to connect them together, it's honestly as easy as going through, I'm just gonna open up all the different parts. The about us is here, the gallery is here, and then I'm gonna go back into my home um, and it is here. 10 minutes. So I just need to edit the navigation on the, the, the first page. So I can just edit home, go to a URL, boom, that's where home is. I don't need to make a new tab, same tab's fine. This is my uh, gallery section. So I'm gonna copy it, edit the navigation item for gallery, make sure it's there, not a new tab. Grab this one, this one is the uh, about us section. Boom, edit the about us, not a new tab, save it, save this whole thing. And um, you definitely want to put in your meta, your meta data, ah, your meta data. Um, so I would put in kind of the description, the same kind of thing I use. I go back to chat GPT and snag, um, you know, kind of the, the introduction paragraph would probably be a good one. Snag it. Uh, for metadata, for those of you who don't know, this is the content that shows up if you share it on Facebook. Um, and so I would want to make sure I have uh, things set up properly for it. We'll pick a wide shot. Why not? Update it. Hitting save. And then now I can actually go all the way back and look at publishing. I'm sorry, go to my settings here. Uh, make sure everything uh, booked at geocationrooms.com slash lodge93. Oops, I'll try spell. Holly, yes, we will be dropping uh, how Chris added the video on the parallax into the website into uh, inside a part of the uh, tutorials that Scott has put together. So now you can see my preview, my about us goes to the about us, my gallery goes to the gallery. You can kind of see if it loads that image first, which is that kind of backup. Um, I have the text, my custom images in Canva. I have the highlights of the property, uh, custom icons, parallaxed images, other highlighting of special features, a gallery on the front page. Really, the homepage is a landing page. They're all landing pages, but I kind of link them together. Um, some highlights of other things to do, showing your host, social proof, and the booking widget, and the chat widget. So if you want to pop on right now, um, you could chat and it would send me a text message and you could chat back and forth via text message. I would capture their uh, 
phone number and email address and their messaging and have a chat, whether if they weren't ready to book or had other questions. So it's chat uh, and it's lead generation and you can leave that seen, live, but have the chat turned off to where it becomes a form to just be lead generation as well. Like when you're asleep from 1 a.m. to 3 a.m. Yep. It all comes right to the phone for people like you, Bill, who uh, prefer <laughs> the uh, the phone over the three screens. That's one of the things that I, I love about the whole platform market, my STR, is I can do everything from my phone. There's also an app to really be able to manage everything, which is super cool. Yep. So we are, I don't know how much time is there, but um, that's- uh, There's six minutes, 39 seconds. So I want to give time. Um, obviously, because we we're right at an hour from when we started chatting um, to answer any questions and go through that. Because we so have, you're done. We built a website, three page website, uh, some custom images, some text from Chat GPT, Jasper to help along the way. Um, done. That's how easy that is. Yep, that's awesome. And a lot of people, you know, like Didi, have been asking about driving traffic to the direct booking website. Uh, that's really what Market My STR is, is all about. It's a social media scheduling, and you can reply to comments. You can look at your CRM. You've got your email marketing. You've got the live chat. You've got the sales pages. We host all your videos. There's no additional hosting fees. Everything's included. So this is not just about building the direct booking website. This is about the. Ne this is really the first step in an integrated uh, group of your system. So you don't have text message marketing over here. And, you know, your website over here, nothing communicates together. Everything is in sync and communicates together. And we can do it all from this little thing right here in iPhone. Look, there's five minutes, 28 seconds left. Um, yeah, that's the thing answer. that, it, what's that? No, no, go ahead, continue. That's the thing that makes this platform incredible. And Scott uh, and I have partnered and he's been gracious enough to allow me to bring this to you guys at an absurd price point. Now, for those of you that are watching, the price point today, $97 for host program, $197 for super host program. That goes away on Sunday night at midnight. Uh, I will send you some reminders via email just to remind you. Those prices each go up $100 each on midnight. So if you don't have the plan, now is the time. If you do want to take advantage of the web website uh, replication, the importer, I don't even know what the heck we're calling it because Scott and I just put this together last night. Remember, that's up to five pages. Most of you shouldn't even have five more than five pages on a website. It's 175. That's probably not even added to the website yet. Uh, just request via chat or you can email um, you know, our support team and they'll get you set up for that in the, in the order of which all of those were received. So Jess, I'm gonna answer this. Jesse, how did guests book? Chris, can you pull up the website? So this is literally somebody, if you have the link to this, you can see it right up here. Uh, it's book.kivavacationrails.com, Lodge 93. If you want to go stay at my brand new property in Montana, uh, just pull that up. This is the owner res direct booking widget uh, that all Chris did is just copied the code out of owner res, dropped it into this HTML box and hocus pocus magic you can book right on any web page and this isn't just exclusive to market my str to be 100 percent transparent this works everywhere every web page um hospitable has the same thing to where you can drop it and take bookings that's a fundamental part of conversions but if you don't have a hospitable you don't have uh, an owner as direct booking widget, a, a code that you can put onto a web page. That's okay. You can always link back. So instead of book now, we'll take you right here to book. If you don't have this, then book now would take you back to your PMS. But you have to have a PMS, a property management system uh, of some sort. And you could do a Huffy. Huffy's free. H O U F Y. It sucks. I wouldn't send traffic to their page, but you could do this and then link to Huffy to actually take the payments. But you still got to have a Stripe account or a PayPal or whatever uh, processor they integrate with. I would start with, for those of you that are small, I would get a hospitable account. Use that for your messaging. Use that for your calendar sync. If you only have one property on Airbnb and Verbo, and they have this, I don't even know what one property on hospitable costs, but it's probably less than 20 bucks a month. Well worth it. So you don't have to worry about calendars breaking and all that type of stuff. And you're going to have the conversion opportunity that you own right on your web page. Absolutely. Um, let's kind of keep going down. Um, do you upload all your pics to Canva to drag and drop? 
So there's a media library inside of Market Master. That's where Bill mentioned you can upload videos to as well. So if I actually go to media here, I can open a media library. And I use folders because you should keep things organized in folders. But for Lodge 93, I have the images made in Canva, the images of the property, the video I use for my uh, example, all that's just uploaded here, just like any other file that I have access to it. For any of these images, it's literally just an, a link. And then if I just put this in somewhere, boom, there's my image. It's just a link it creates inside the uh, the cloud stores that it's stored in. So it's super, super easy. I just use Canva as an example because with Canva, I can create images like, um, like, like, let me go back. There we go. Uh, like these inside of Canva that you can't just create by uploading. It also helps you create, um, we can make things look a little bit more organized. A lot of times people don't realize that when you have images of different sizes, like this would happen, right? If I had two images that were one size and one image that was a different size. So you use Canva to kind of keep things clean uh, when you upload images, make sure they're all the same size and, and all that. Um, uh, go ahead. Hey, Kathy, how did I get the URLs to connect? So the landing page itself, the first one is just a, um, there's just links to the other landing pages. If I go back into my Lodge 93 here, there's three pages. So this one exists at book.kivacationrooms.com slash home. This one exists at this URL. And this one exists at this URL. So about us, uh, the gallery is here. So about just, us, Chris, just first. simply highlight the part that changes. Home is the only thing that changes. So it's a URL extension that's different for each page, right? Correct. And then in the, and then in the navigation the editor, I just tell it where those pages are. So it knows that home is home and then the about us is at that location and then the gallery is at that location and that's how it, they link back and forth together um because i actually told it okay that's where home is that's where about us is that's where gallery is and that's how a navigation based on any website works those links just take you to different pages on the site time is up you got it done with plenty of time congratulations that's awesome um Hey, Chris, newest mastermind member. Awesome. Uh, guys, this is amazing. But those of us that are new to this need a step-by-step -step guide for implementation. Can you create something like that? Maybe something with looms and text. I mean, that's all inside Market My STR. Uh, and as of Monday, our two-day a week goes to live uh, support five days a week. But this is all the stuff that you're talking about. Scott is exceptional uh, with the looms and the walkthroughs and everything that he has on video and documentation. This is, I mean, this is probably some of the best, most comprehensive knowledge base uh, that I've seen with any software. And that's kudos to Scott, our business partner, uh, who has just absolutely crushed yeah. it with that. One thing I want to focus on with, with the support side is that most other platforms, this is all you get. You're like, you get a video of someone walking through uh, something that's not a specific example that you see and like not for you, not specific for you. And so you're kind of stuck in this like well that, i like that but how do i apply it to me where that's why uh the things that scott does like the office hours are like unbelievably worth so much more than uh really what they charge for or what you should charge for it because you're able to actually go in and ask specific questions and they can actually walk through specific examples and show you how to do certain things and then the white glove to get you set up and then the actual like pay hourly so say you you had all the content you're like I have these images, I have this text, I have everything. I just don't want to actually make the page myself. You could pay them to do it at a much cheaper price than it would cost you to go on to Fiverr, find um, what is $75 for an hour, you know, find someone on Fiverr or hire a company to do it. You can have them create the landing page for you using a template uh, like that. Much, much easier right. doing it yourself. So, if that's the path you want to go down. There's two big questions that a lot of people have asked about the about Market My SDR. Number one, what's the difference between the host program? Um, and the Superhost program. Chris, can you pull that up real quick and share that? Yes. The number one thing is really the automation that you get in the Superhost program and the access to my stuff uh, in the Superhost program. Those are two big differentiators. In the host program, you do not get automation. So if you watch my Superhost Sunday, uh, on Sunday where I went through and I talk about how you know creating funnels, especially in that guest transition, 
guest checks out, you don't message them through Airbnb and Verbo anymore. You want to put them into, you want to use some automation for that. That's really what we need the super host uh, for. That's where you look at the workflows, the automation. If you want a blog, which is a pretty big deal for SEO, you get that there uh, as well. Google AdWords, Facebook, and Instagram ad reporting. Uh, the stats, the reporting, if you want to send surveys to your past guests, which I highly recommend. And you can have unlimited users. Like if you're using a VA for social media, VA for copywriting, whatever, um, they can get access in as well. And it includes everything inside of the host plan. Uh, if you want full up everything, Facebook ad funnels, uh, my Facebook ads uh, training course, you want monthly marketing coaching calls with Chris and I, uh, and you need all that other stuff that we've already built out for you, that's in the next level plan um, at 897. The host plan that's 97 now, that's just for the, the founding members that we're opening. That ends for the first month uh, on June 4th. So at midnight on June 4th, which is Sunday night, this price goes to 197. This price goes to 297. Um, and it probably won't stay there very long, to be honest with you, because that's about a $1,000 a month value on any other platform. That'll probably be there for a few weeks. And then I'm going to convince Scott uh, to, to ramp that up to 397 because that's really where it should be on the very low end with all the value that's driven uh, for everybody that's there. Um, the second thing is, is that there's, Chris, there's some questions about the difference uh, between the $250 white glove onboarding package and the $175, you know, website builder. Those are two completely separate things. So when you sign up, if you want Scott's team, who are amazing, and Scott's doing most of it himself, will literally, you'll schedule an hour-long call, um, and he'll give you a checklist to where you have the stuff that you need. You don't have to do any of the setup. You don't have to set up subdomains. You don't have to uh, go in and set up your email and all the CRM and all that type of stuff. They will do it for you, and they'll build your first sales page for your property. They'll help you get that up and running. Uh, in less than an hour. That's going to take most of you probably five to eight, eight hours maybe to be able to get all that stuff set up and to be up and running. I think that's probably one of the best investments that we have. I think about 50% of the people are taking advantage of it. Uh, so then you're really ready to go within 60 minutes. The $175 is if you want us to bring your website up to five pages into Market My STR for you. So as Chris said, that's probably a five six hundred dollar deal if you go to Fiverr, or, you know wherever, um, because they're going to have to rebuild it, uh, you know, into our system for you. Um, and that's like what Eric Carrico was asking about. So two fifty is the onboarding setup gets done in an hour, just like building out this website for you. The one seventy five is for the website uh, import. Did I miss anything? What is the difference? Okay, what is the difference between the two products? We talked about that. Uh, what would it look like if I don't have owner res? So Lefty, uh, if you don't, if you don't have to have owner res, right? So, I mean, I think it's crazy for people nowadays to try to manage your short-term rental just on Airbnb and Verbo. The mistakes that you will make, uh, trying to keep everything synced alone is worth the money. Chris, pull up hospitable. Don't pull it up here, but just Google it. What's the cost for one property? on hospitable. I think it's less than $20 a month. You don't have to have owner res. What we're showing you is the direct booking widgets uh, that you can drop. Hospitable has a direct booking widget. Um, owner res has a direct booking widget. Worst case scenario is where we had book now, that button instead of linking, and if you're at the top of the page, it'll drop you all the way down to the bottom on my page. So the direct booking widget, that could link uh, out to your direct booking or even back to Airbnb or Verbo if you want. I don't necessarily recommend that. You want to have some type of property management system, what we refer to as a PMS, to be able to do your direct bookings. How much is hospitable for one property? Uh, $40. That's up to two properties. It doesn't uh, get cheaper than one property. And then for the direct booking, it's uh, $5 a month per property plus a 6 to 10, 6 plus $10. Wow. Yes. Um, I'm not going to say the word because there are people are betting on it, but F no way am I paying that. I mean, it's much, I, I would a hundred percent do owner res then. I'm curious why the, uh, I have to check into that cause there's one, that's their premium one, but the other level would be there's $8 a month per property with no fee. So that would be the one I would choose way. Yeah. Over. Guess that's where you want to start and stuff. I'm not giving yeah, anybody 6% of my revenue. Uh, that's for sure. That 
Uh, Rich, every PMS does not have uh, a direct booking widget. I am not sure about Hostfully. Um, strhub.com, if you guys haven't heard of that. Uh, Christian Crump started that, an incredible website where you, you can find that information out super quick and everything, uh, to be honest with you. strhub.com, you can compare all the softwares together. Um, just a little plug for Christian, one of my oh, mastermind Hostfully members. does have a direct booking widget. Hostfully does? Awesome. Yeah. There you go. Uh, can you also place your booking calendar on the landing page? If it has an embed code, Tanya, yes, you can. All you need is the embed code, which is usually just a link these days. It's not even a lot of code, right, Chris? And you just copy it and you can paste it on it. Somebody asked earlier if you have to uh, allow people to automatically book from owner res. No, you could just put a quote and force them to mm -hmm. grab a quote, and then you can run them through Superhog or safely or whatever you want to do to vet them and then send them a link to convert the quote into a booking. So it's all how you want to have it set up. Yep. And this is Onerize's example. I'm not sure. I can't speak to the other uh, PMSs on what they can let you <laughs> embed. If I can do single calendar, multi-month calendar, the ribbon feed, which is what the main page of Onerize looks like, um, multiple property searching, re pull the reviews for a particular property into uh, its own thing. So unlike I did it manually, you could have it pull automatically in the booking uh, inquiry widget as well. Um, you can customize. So I didn't want to get too much into how hospital or how Onerize has it set up. But basically, you make the widget how you want it. So I could set it what fields, what shows, what doesn't show, how it does it. Is it inquiries or book now uh, or both? And you can set all that up through Onerize. That's the customizability of it. Lethe, we use Stripe. A lot of people complain about Stripe because they like have had their account shut down or whatever it is. That's usually when people that are doing shady stuff. Uh, we have never had, I don't think we've ever had one issue with Stripe. And we've used it since you've been here because we do everything above board. Don't believe all the stuff that you hear, uh, you know, on social media. Um, do you need to approve the guests like Airbnb? Nope, that's what Chris just showed you. Um, okay, so for direct bookings, you add the widget from your PMS. Yep, 100%. Um, how does this work if you have multiple STRs? Would you have to create a page for each one? You don't have to, but we highly recommend it. I mean, just like we tell you, when you, when you purchase a short-term rental, one LLC, one bank account, one credit card, don't commingle your properties into an LLC because then you lose liability protection. Don't commingle your funds because then they can, the, an attorney can pierce the veil if you have an issue and go after multiple properties. Same thing here, as we, if hopefully you just learned as we went through the difference between a sales page and why it converts at a higher rate than a website. The only time you really wanna show, have a page or a website that shows all your properties is, and I talked about this on the Superhost Sunday, is when, when somebody checks out of your property and then you follow up with them and it's like, hey, Chris, thank you so much uh, for staying with us. Uh, really appreciate it. Thanks for your five-star review, by the way. You were amazing. Your family was amazing. You left the property absolutely spotless. I would love for you to stay with us again. By the way, if you love the mountains, check out my place in Banner Elk. If you have always wanted to go to Montana and have the most incredible Montana experience, right on an amazing freaking river with, you know, trout the size of, of your leg, uh, then check out Lodge 93. Oh, you want to go to an amazing lake? Look at this place. That's where you introduce them to your the rest of your portfolio. That's like the only time that you're probably ever going to use that. Everything else goes to the individual property that you're marketing. Um, oh, nice. Scott, I didn't even know this. We were working on a direct integration with Canva. Expected Q3 of 2023. That's only a few short months away. That's awesome, Scott. Um can these landing pages link back to our website? 100%. Uh, Monica, you can send links wherever you want. Uh, so you, there is no, well, you probably shouldn't send them some places, but you can link them to, to wherever you want. Um, does your team show us how to take this landing page that you created and market it uh, to social, et cetera? Um, that depends on what uh, program. Like I said, the next level program, we already, Chris and I, we charge $2,500 to build out full Facebook ad campaigns. We have Facebook ad campaigns in there. You also get access to my Superhost Academy to where if you're looking for that, so you get my Facebook um, you know, ad training, you get all that type of stuff. That's really not what we do here. This is the, the marketing platform. We, Chris and I will be doing some stuff in the Superhost and that next level program. But if you really want that, you probably need to look at a different one of my training programs, educational programs, because this is really the software uh, that you want to use for that. Um, 
Love this. Awesome. Dina, can't wait to, to serve you. Chris, reporting. Am I missing anything? Um, reporting and triggers. Can you, can you, do you know enough to talk about the triggers, Chris? Yeah. So the triggers, it's just the links. Let me pull up the actual platform so I can show it better. Oh. 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 Oh, there we go. Move our heads out the way. The trigger links allow you to know through emails or SMS um, when someone clicks on something, you can trigger additional uh, things to happen. So I uh, create a name for the trigger link. Um, let me test right now. Let me pull up a uh, URL from somewhere. So while you're going through that, Chris, an example would be is if they clicked on a link to start booking, but they didn't actually book and you had it set up as a trigger link, then you could literally have that set up to start an email funnel for them, correct? Yeah. Yeah, they do. Um, based on, on them clicking the link, you can have uh, print any of the events uh, that, that happens or anything you can do inside. You could do... Um, that's where a lot of like the automation stuff comes in. So now that I have a trigger link created, I could go in and actually create an automation. And this is uh, the very advanced things that happen inside of here. So um, you could have it, I'll start, I'll make one from scratch and kind of show off a little bit of the automation side of it. So basically I just have a trigger now. So I have a, uh, a link, a trigger link that was created. And then based on that trigger link, I could have it do any of these things in an email, send an SMS, leave a voicemail, uh, Instagram, DM them, um, do things inside of the CRM so that I know to track or follow up with them. Um, you know, and then I have if, if then else statements as well. So there's a ton of, of power behind the automation side. Um, so it's, it's, uh, and, and really incredible, like, like, you mentioned we're highlighting today the landing page portion of what Markham STR is, but uh, even in the social media management, the email marketing, text message marketing, and landing page creation, that is just a fraction of the capability of the platform itself and what all the things it can do. Uh, we'll continue to do things like this over time of trying to highlight each of those individual elements and some new things that's never been seen in this industry before because the platform's capable of, of doing it. That's really uh, the, the key we want to go in here. It's just a, uh, we're showing a snippet of what a massive platform actually is. Um, uh, were you saying the hospital can be used for booking instead of owner Yeah. And I mean, hopefully anything that has a direct booking widget that you can drop onto the page, you can use. Uh, thank you, Chris, Bill and Scott. This software represents a huge step forward in STR marketing. Thank, awesome. Thank you, Elizabeth. Really appreciate the kind words. Um, Scott, we're really proud of our free onboarding course, which has 30 plus videos in case you want to uh, DIY. Yeah, you do not have to do, uh, you know, the white glove or anything like that. As Chris showed you, it's a very extensive um, so like a Boostly website can be brought to, yeah, hundred percent, Jeremy, um, you can try to re rebuild it on your own or you can for 175, like we said, our team will rebuild it for you up to five pages. Uh, does the white glove setup include moving what we already have in another platform and move it over, uh, to market my SCR Kathy? Yeah. Like, so it, like your email list and that type of stuff. Yes. Rebuilding your website, no. So that's what we're talking about. The 250 white glove is the onboarding to get the whole system set up for you. The 175 is just for the website. So if you do have a website that you want to bring in, uh, then that would be an additional cost of 175 for the team to do that for you. Uh, yeah, sharing here. Um, to get started, I need to add Canva, Onerez, and Stripe. No, not necessarily. So there's lots of options. I was just showing off Canva as an example. To get the most out of a landing page, you probably want to have a direct booking widget, which you would need like owner as or hospitable for, which needs a payment processor. So yeah, you can kind of get down a rabbit hole uh, very quickly of things that kind of link together and work together. Um, but it depends on what you're using Markham STR for. It's just a fraction of the site that is landing page creation. Uh, it's capable of much more than that. And that's why the white glove onboarding is the setting up to set up all the email marketing, the Google My Business, the the call forwarding, the text messaging, all those parts, that's what that white glove does. And that's why the, the website migration is separate 
because it really is just a separate part of what the whole platform can do. Great question. Uh, Rich, does the monthly fee cover unlimited number of pages? Yes, there is no limit to the number of pages. Um, can you have, yep, you can have unlimited number of pages under one account. Awesome. I think that's it for the questions. We are almost an hour and a half in. Chris, great job. Thank you. Uh, Scott, thank you for being here and answering a lot of questions in the chat. Um, if you guys have any questions, you can always, you know, go to marketmystr. Uh, dot com. There's a lot of information available there. You can, you know, hit me up in the Facebook group. You can hit me up on YouTube with comments. If you're here, you can uh, hit me up at Bill Faith. That's F A E T H 73 on Instagram. Happy to help. Happy to get you situated. Just remember that the pricing goes up on Sunday night um, at midnight. That's why we're doing this today. So that way, if you were interested, uh, you can jump on and you can sign. All you have to do is sign up for the 14 day free trial. Um, you know, there is, you can take it for a test drive. Uh, we know that you're going to fall in love with it uh, if you test it. Uh, we just want you to take advantage while the pricing is at the lowest uh, that will, it will ever be. Anything that you have before we depart, Chris? No, oh, just that I think the, the trials, the, the key component, get in there, um, start playing with stuff, realize how easy it is to use the different tools once things are set up. And um, I mean, it's just, you, you have the ability to take control. I think that's the, the key component that we've been talking about all year long <laughs> that you don't wanna just wait and hope that someone finds you on Airbnb on someone else's platform. You wanna control the ground that you build your house on. Um, and whether that's through email lists, through text message marketing, through running ads in different places and then sending them to some place you actually have control of how they book, the, their experience with it and then um, you know, actually be able to remarket to them. Look, if you were at the SDR Wealth Conference and you watched mine and Mike's state of the industry and you look at what's down year over year from bookings, if you if you have your market reports coming in from Price Labs and looking at the demand in your markets, if you this is this is why this is so timely because we need to be doing social media. We have to be doing email marketing. I mean, I'll share something with you for the first time, the very first time since COVID started, which was late February, early March of 2020, I just had to lower some prices during the summer at beach properties today. Even on my number one property, the tier two, six, four, not even beach front, they did $357,000 uh, in revenue last year. I had to lower the prices uh, for the last week of June um, because Chris and I are too busy doing this stuff. I don't, I, I don't have time to go in and optimize every single day. I need to get it booked and not worry about it. It's my last uh, open time during the summer. And I took it from like 17,800 for the week and lowered it by 200 bucks. Uh, and I'll continue to lower it until it gets booked. I'll probably have the threshold to stop at around 13 grand for the week. But what I don't want to do is I don't want to go in and have to do the three, two, one for that, you know, on, uh, you know, a one week stay. So um, a lot of these things, there is nothing uh, that is written and included in what Chris and I will be doing, you know, from training and marketing. But if you know me and Chris well enough, we're probably going to pop up once in a while. So pay close attention to your emails once you join uh, Market My, My STR. Just please do it before Sunday. Um, you will get an email at seven, eight, nine o'clock on Sunday night reminding you, and it'll say, please don't m message Chris or I in the morning and ask for the pricing that you delayed on. Do it now uh, because you need this and you have absolutely zero risk through the 14-day trial. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Really appreciate you guys. Let Chris and I know if you have any questions. Live chat's always available on marketmystr.com. Have a great day and happy hosting, everybody.